guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. So it is time for another weekly makeup basket. I'm going to try to do these every Sunday or Monday, try to get them up sort of towards the beginning of the week. Hopefully that works. If I happen to not upload, I will let you guys know via Snapchat and I will probably end up posting what I use for the week um, on my Instagram. So just make sure you're following me on all my social media so that you are in the know of when I upload and things like that. Um, so that'll be listed down below and at the end of the page as well. And the, the video as well. I always call it a page because in iMovie it's like, like different blocks. So to me that's pages. So anyway, um, so. In my weekly makeup baskets, basically what I do is I tell you how I did using the products from the previous week and then I go into the new products uh, for this week. So let's start with last week. Um, so if you want to know which products I used and my new products, then just keep watching. Okay, so I want to start with um, eyeshadow because... I am so proud of myself. I used these shadows every single day this week and you'll definitely want to follow me on Instagram because I post daily my makeup of the days. Definitely go follow me there because I post a lot of good stuff or at least I tend to think so. Yeah, every day I have been posting and using this Z palette. This is full of Coastal Scents shadows, you guys. These colors are amazing. Uh, I'll tell you what I used. Look at that color payoff. Oh my god. Okay, so I think I used some of the greens. I used this purple, which is gorgeous. I used this one right here. Oh yeah, I did use this green. I used these colors. I used this one. I used, um, oh, I used this really pretty peach shade. That is gorgeous. This one is called Sunset Gold right here, and that one's gorgeous too. I just used that most recently, and I did use this blush as well with that peach look, and I've been using this brow bone highlight. This palette is just really nice to have because it has basically everything that I need. I didn't really use the shadows from the Naked palette. I don't know. I may have to declutter those. Um, I love those colors. I just have to find ways to use them. They're kind of hard for me to use. I love this shade. I think it's super unique. And this shade is like a nice taupey shade, as you can see. But I did really well using this every day. So I'm um, very happy that I got more use out of this guy. And Coastal Sense is amazing. They have shadows for $1.17. And when they go on sale, they're 99 cents. And the color payoff is amazing um, so and they're awesome they always like my page and they actually commented on my most recent picture that I uh, posted on Instagram so I just feel so special and they're just awesome so definitely check out Coastal Sun Shadows that was a really long rant about this palette so we're gonna move on but just know it's amazing favorite thing that I put in the weekly makeup basket from last week is a lot of weeks going on here <laughs> is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I've learned that this is my favorite mascara ever. I really like the wand on this. It's probably getting a little bit dried up. I've used this for a month and a half now. I'm going to keep it going for another week or two, so I'm going to put this in my next two makeup baskets, but I'll just put that to the side. Just know I really love this. I use it every day. It lengthens it curls my lashes it's amazing I really really love that um, I still have my benefit professional I use this you know most of the time some days I would forget I really want to try to finish this off there's it feels like there's none left but once you squeeze really hard I get some stuff out so I'm gonna keep going until I can't squeeze anymore but we are so close to using this up so that's also going in next week's makeup basket, and I'll mention that again. I had two liners in the weekly makeup basket, and I used this one maybe three times, and this one only two times, give or take. This one, I was actually not satisfied with this one, but I think it was just because um, the look that I did, it made it more light than it's actually showing up. So that was the only thing that I had, like the only stipulation that I had about this product, but... I still really like these pencils. There's nothing wrong with these pencils. It was just the color was a little bit off the day that I used it. 
Um, and this is just a staple in my opinion. I, this, hold on, that's gonna break. <laughs> it's super black and that was a horrible swatch. Oh my god. Don't judge. So there it is right there. So you, I like to have a black and a brown liner at hand at all times because it's just the only colors that I really reach for, but I switch that around in the next one, so in the next makeup basket. So moving on from liners to Clinique Plum Pop lipstick. It's a really gorgeous shade. I did wear this only once, but I'm very glad that I wore it because I completely forgot about it, and it's probably going to go in a very recent, a very what am I trying to say? It's probably going to go in my weekly makeup basket again uh, because I really, really love that color. Look at that. That was one swatch. Let me, let me, let me. What? Are you kidding me? Clinique really does a good job with their lip products and their skincare. I really like their skincare. Okay, but this video is not about skincare. I also had in there, this is going to be a staple it's always going to be in here until I finish it off. Um, I, I like this powder and I don't like this powder. I don't like it only because I like loose powder better, but it's a good powder, so I like having it. My Better Skin... Here it is. I couldn't find it. My Better Skin Foundation I used every day. I love this stuff so much. This was a gift from Canoe. I visit her and miss her so much. I use this a lot. As you can see, it's very separated up there, but that's great because I love that foundation so much. Okay, so I think that's everything that I had in last week's. Some of this stuff is going to be in there like every week, so I'm just going to kind of like go through it really quickly. Um, but here we go. We're going to go into this week's makeup basket now. I'm going to start with foundation. So I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I hate this foundation so much. The color is way too dark and and it separates on me and the only way I can make it work is if I mix in my pearl liquid luminizer thingamajigger from Becca. The th when I mix these together it is so much better. Um, it, it doesn't hold up too well over the course of a really long day but I'm just trying to get through it. Sometimes I mix it with my better skin. Sometimes I mix it with I try to play around with this thing because I am trying to use this. I don't like this foundation at all, so happy to be using it uh, so I can get it out of my collection faster, of course. You guys know that these are stay in Roller Lash and Professional, so I'm not even going to talk about those. As far as eyeshadow goes, I'm going to be playing around with the Modern Renaissance palette because I brought this to Florida and I played around with it a couple times when I was with Canoe. I really haven't explored this palette to what it could be. It is just gorgeous. I, The mattes in here are amazing and I just love the variety that you get and I'm really happy that I picked this up when I went. So that is the deal with that. Uh, so be sure to look for posts on Instagram when I use this palette because it'll be fun, fun, fun. I'm really excited about that. I have two ColourPop shadows that I decided to throw in here. I love ColourPop shadows. I'm trying to downsize my collection though just because I have so many and they dry out and I don't want that to happen. So I have here Cornelius, which this is actually a newer one that I own at least. Um, these mattes are so nice. I love them so much. They blend out really nice. They're not patchy. This is Cornelius. This is from Kathleen Lights is collab that she did with ColourPop. Really like that shadow. And then I have the Deluxe one. I think this is from the Shannon XO collection. Also love her a lot. It's a really nice like sparkly brown. Any look if you put it in the outer V. Include those two shadows. And then as far as eye products go we have <laughs> Three liners, which may be a little bit excessive, but let's start with this guy. This is the Sephora Crayon. Just it's waterproof. Um, it's in the color Diamonds Are Forever, and this was at the register, and it caught my eye because when I was in Sephora, because it's a silver liner. I don't have anything like this. It actually shows up as silver. It's really really cool, and Emily Noel 
83 just posted on her Snapchat a really pretty silver look that I want to try to recreate. So that's why I put this in here. Might be fun for my waterline or inner quarter or something like that. So I'm excited to play around with that. And then as far as black liners go, I don't have a liquid liner that's black. Oh, I do, but I don't like it. But I decided to just throw this in. This is a Scandalized by Rimmel. I love this formula. It's super creamy and... Are you kidding me? That was like one swipe and so easy. And then Canoe gave me this. This is my only brown liner currently. I haven't even swatched this at all. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. It's at the bottom there. <laughs> Look at those wonky swatches. Right there. So that'll be nice to have, and I love how long the um, tip is. It'll be much easier to apply than those Revlon ones, hopefully. Now, as far as blush goes, I threw in my Tarte Amazonian Clay Holiday 2016 blush palette because I played with this a lot when I first got it. Like, I used it probably for a straight two months, two weeks, sorry, because you just... You have everything you could ever want in a blush palette. I mean, that's everything. You get two highlighters here. You get a nice neutral blush and a bunch of other stuff going on. So I'm really excited to play with this. For highlight, I threw this in because honestly, I don't really like this. It's not really that fun to play with, but I thought I would give it another try. This is the Ulta Beauty Strobing Palette. I saw this and I thought it was, it looked interesting. And it has a cream highlight that's eh, but I... Sometimes I like layering shadows on top of this highlight to kind of use some more so more, more highlights and things like that. So usually what I'll do is I'll put this down and then put this on top so I can play around with it a lot more. It's bronzer or highlight or shadow, whatever it may be. Nice to play around with. I don't know about that as a bronzer, but I'm willing to try it. I don't know. We'll see. So... Not too thrilled about this, but I wanted to get some more use out of it since I do have it. I feel like I'm ignoring it. So as far as lips go, I have a couple things going on here. First, let's talk about the Bite Beauty, uh, um, what are these? Amos Bouche Lipsticks. And this is in the shade Radish. And this is a gorgeous berry shade, so I thought it would go really well. <laughs> That's beautiful. So my color. I thought it would go really well with the Modern Renaissance palette if I do like a neutral look with that and then I do a pop of color with this so that'll be fun to play with. I also put in these Pacifica Lipsticks Power Color, no, Powerful Color Natural Lipsticks. I got these as a gift because I did a Secret Santa with this makeup group that I will post down below because they are fabulous there um, in that group. I love those girls so much. I have three of them here. I want to try to play with them. They're super moisturizing. So there are the three Pacifica colors. Really fun. They look really cool and I'm really excited to play with these a little bit more. I also threw in this freaking frack liner because honestly it's like my favorite liner of life because it's so dark and you can wear it on its own with a gloss on top. Oh my god I didn't even put any glosses in here. Hold on that needs to change. Oh okay. I'm going to put in my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in uh, ca caramel, caramel, however you say it. I thought this would go over really nicely. Oh my god, that color is gorgeous. Um, over top the freaking frack. So that might be a really fun combination to play with. So I'm really excited about all these products. Of course, I have all my staples like the NYC bronzer. I'll list everything that I mentioned down below, even stuff that's in my weekly makeup basket that's kind of always in my weekly makeup basket, just so you have an idea. So if you guys like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You know I post makeup of the days. There are all kinds of fun stuff. And um, if I don't happen to post uh, my weekly makeup basket, I'll post it on Instagram. So uh, follow me there. Follow me on Snapchat. I'd love to have you. And I guess that's it for me, so I will see you in my next video. Alright, bye guys! Hello everybody, thanks for coming back to my channel. So, what am I doing with my hands? Whew, take two. I put in the Clinique color, nope, the Clinique. Let's start with 